Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. It's not just symbology that the one one is a new start. There are many ways of interpreting the numerology of the one one. One way is this. It's always the same master number, 11. And 11 is indeed enlightenment. So you might say that every single first of the year, every single 1-1 one, one event, if you have one, is going to have the same kind of an energy. And that would be a start, a new start. It's a one. Not only new beginnings, it's a double one. It's also, of course, a master number, which means that it is very important, more than just regular numbers. There are some numbers, however, that stick out. One of them is a five. You will probably hear more about that later, and that means change. This last year, 2020, is a year that we have spoken of over and over. My partner has been questioned about it, and it's because of what you know as the virus. There will be those in the future who remember 2020 very, very vividly, stick in their mind for the time that everything changed. We have told you in the past many channels about what this has meant and why it has occurred and why now. We've also challenged you to think about this, that this particular virus, the way it was treated and what occurred, is really out of place. Viruses have been here for a long time, some of them very active, some of them very dangerous. You've had some of them, and you know even their names. You have up to 20,000 people in the air all of the time flying between countries. What are the odds and the chances that you never had a pandemic until now? It's completely out of place. It's counterintuitive to everything you had in place or you've experienced. Your planet has been ripe for this all along. And yet this was the year, this 2020 year, and it started early, and now it's ending. People have said, Cryon, if you could see what's in the field, what's next? And I'm going to give this year a name in a moment. And the name I'm going to give it will tell a lot, because of what I'm going to tell you is in the field. The first question so many ask is say, when is it going to be over? Because even as we speak on 1-1, one, one, it's still there. And the answer is, in 2021, indeed, the light will come on. The end of the tunnel will be revealed. There will be more issues. There will be more conspiracies. There will be more difficulties. But eventually you will have a new normal. That's coming, dear ones, and you know it. If you take a look at the astrology, which almost always gives hints with human consciousness, human activities, a roadmap that you can either look at or not as you choose, you take a look at the months of March and April as almost a coming-out party from 2020. So those are the, the times I'm predicting. It will start then making the change from the old normal to the new. And the new normal is going to really be something, dear ones. You've learned a lot in 2020, and so far you really don't know what you've learned because you haven't seen the discoveries you'll make. And the discoveries you're going to make are multiple. When you stop the world, and you stop economies, and you change everything, it starts to expose things that never were exposed. 
Because when you stop that which always was and always worked a certain way, those kinds of things seem to float to the surface. Especially when you have a civilization that talks among themselves on a regular basis. We talk about social media. We talk about the ways you communicate where very, very little can remain secret. And here come the secrets. This was happening all along, or that was happening all along, but when you stopped it, you didn't see it, and now you do. And your reaction will be, it's got to change. You've already seen some of the changes and some of the, the reactions and, so, and, and some of the, the civil unrest of things that are already in the works that will not then go back to the way they were. Dear ones, there are a lot of things that are going to change now and stay changed. This is good news. All because of 2020. One of the biggest ones, the beginning of the revelation of the virus, how it came to be, you still don't have the story, not the real one. What happened after that? Was it treated correctly or not? Will you do the same thing the next time? Is a full lockdown what you should do, or should you simply protect those who need protected? All of these kinds of things will be a revelation. Wisdom, the way to work it again if it happens. It will imprint some people with fear. Get ready for that. I've said in the past that there will be those who will wear masks for the rest of their life because now they're afraid of all things, every germ, every bacteria, because it has had that imprint on them and they've lost friends because of it. This is something that's going to carry over in a way the counselors will be working with for a long time. But the biggest things that you're going to see are the revelations of truths you didn't know. I have said this before, and I said it when this first began. Governments may change because of what you're going to find out. Secrets being revealed. Dysfunctions starting to show. You might say there's dysfunction everywhere all the time, and it's going to continue. That is what is going to be revealed as different. You're going to want solutions. It's a time of solution. But the name I'm going to give for this year, I always name every year, dear ones, is Revelation. I sat in a chair in 1999, in December, and named the year of 2020 the year of change. <laughs> this one, this 2021, is going to be the year of revelation, as you'll see. There's going to be a lot of good things that will reveal themselves, not necessarily to be good as they will be real, revealed, but as good because of the solutions you're going to make. A lot is going to come out of covid that you didn't expect that will change this planet. This happened, dear ones, after 2012, during the new energy, during a new consciousness, so that you could see things finally for what they were and make the appropriate adjustments. Consciousness is starting to raise, and regular humanity is starting to raise the bar of what they will want and expect and create, throwing away what doesn't work, and keeping what does. It's a good time to celebrate this new year of enlightenment. And so it is.